Hey, everybody, it's me, Dasha Fuentes, Daisy Fuentes. I'm backstage with Samoa Joe. She's fired, and more after this. You're listening to The Joe Cronin Show, a wrestling podcast with attitude. Get out of here, Miss Fuentes. It is about damn time. One robot down, three to go. One robot down, three to go. We don't need three of the same robotic women backstage. God, they are terrible. There is one woman in NXT. I can't remember her name. She's actually really pretty, too, just like all the girls are. But she has a personality. I forget what her name is. I wish I could remember. Maybe somebody in the chat down below could let me know. Now, I never like to credit Pro Wrestling Sheet because Ryan Satan is an SJW idiot, but we have to because that's where I first saw the story, and credit to where credit's due. Backstage interviewer Dasha Fuentes, released by WWE! Yeah! Now, I never like to gloat and celebrate someone's firing. I know what it's like to lose my job at a place where I worked for four years and loved it, thought it was going to be where I retired someday, and uh, as you guys may know who have been here for six years or the last couple of years at least, no, that didn't happen. Uh, but here I am now doing this on YouTube. But so what? The bottom line is, though, she was just atrocious. She was, she's actually would be good if she was like a news reporter or reporting for some other company somewhere or whatever. But in in wrestling and entertainment and sports entertainment, you yes, you can have an announcer voice. I'm standing beside... Uh, Kurt Hawkins, uh, who just won the WWE Tag Team Championships. Kurt, what in the world were you thinking when you on, when you went out at WrestleMania in front of all those people? You haven't had a victory in WWE since you know, like, and, and you like, you have a soul at least a little bit. You know what I mean? But F Fuentes was like, "I'm standing here with Kurt Hawkins, Kurt." What was it like when you were <laughs> like you like <laughs> like oh god it was horrible it just didn't work whatsoever for the WWE style I mean I I, I blame whoever hired her in the first place I don't understand how these people get hired I don't understand why other people in the indies and around the that scene like you know don't get hired all right, and nobody, no, nobody's gonna put anybody over more than themselves. A lot of times, right? Sure, there's humble people out there. Well, I'm not humble. I put myself over, and and I feel like I could do a great job if I was in WWE. I have to shave my face, and grow my hair out a little bit, and uh, put on a suit. But I could do a much better job than hello everybody it's me we are at Wrestlemania and now my next guest Samoa Joe. Like, her voice was like, mer like if you broke a glass lamp and then stabbed me with it several times, like, that would have been what went on. Uh, big time rumors coming out about Ronda Rousey and uh, Becky Lynch and Charlotte's match. And apparently, there's big news on this. And um, we really have to get to that in the next video. I'm putting that together. So that is coming out in just a few minutes. We're going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about that. So in a few minutes when that video comes out, I just want to let you guys know it will be here at the end of this video. So you can click on it right now. So actually, if you're watching this, if you want to hear my thoughts and opinions on this breaking news about what happened and who got fined for messing up in the main event at WrestleMania, it's popping up on your screen on the top left right now. Go ahead and click on it and continue watching more of my show. I'll see you guys live tonight after SmackDown. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't miss out on the daily news podcasts and uh, live reviews after every single WWE event but uh yeah check out the brand new news top left and some of the other videos from earlier that you might have missed joe cronin see you tonight after smackdown